Yeah, 21 lessons with Kaja. You already know what it is. Pull a chair, sit down, come learn some. You already know what it is. Yay! Oh my god. Hey guys, so it's Taja back for another lesson. 20. That was a three. 21 lessons with Taja. My lesson for today is making good decisions. Guys. There have been so many times in my life when I was given two options, two separate paths. I'm not going to tell you guys what the paths were, but I'm just going to give an example. So let's say Becky had a little apple over here that contained 500 grams of sugar, but it was delicious and everybody else was taking it. And over here, um, Roger had um, a piece of broccoli that tasted terrible, but was highly nutritious. And so with that being said, there were times in my life where I had to make a choice between something that looked super good that everybody else was doing and something that looked really lame, really boring, and that only like no one else was doing. And I realized that sometimes taking the path that no one else was doing, actually all the time taking a path that no one else was doing was best for me and best for my journey. I am so grateful that even in those moments where I was two seconds from making a decision that could have completely changed the course of my life, I'm so grateful that God was so gracious to give me that discernment, give me that conviction to make good decisions, to make that good choice. Um, making good decisions, I believe so many times each and every day we underestimate that. When we wake up in the morning, we don't think, oh, I'm going to make a good decision today. Oh, I'm going to avoid bad decisions today. We don't do that. And so with that, I feel like lacking that sort of intentionality opens you up to a world of making bad decisions, if that makes sense. To me, um, within these last few years of just me growing and maturing, ever since I was in high school, I just started waking up like, Lord, you direct my path today. Help me to make good choices. I have seen how that has really helped me in so many ways to where when I'm faced with temptation or faced with doing something that won't necessarily harm me, but will bring me no benefit. The Lord will be like, mm, Yeet, you know, go over here, do that. And so with that, I've seen that making good decisions and being led by the Lord has absolutely it, it's been great. Making good decisions are, isn't always popular, but it's purposeful. And so with that being said, I just want to encourage all my young people who may be watching this, make good decisions. Ask the Lord to help you make good decisions. Trust me, with little Bobby, with little, oh wait, I may have people who are watching this whose so name is Bobby. Um, um, with, with um, Raleca Civilavasia and what Bashika La Simba Kaida is doing, you don't need to do what they're doing. Ask the Lord to direct your path and help you make good decisions. I promise you, you will be okay. Making good decisions may not be popular, but it's purposeful. Put that in your back pocket.